It's winter here in BC. It isn't as cold as most winters, but it's just enough for some to hibernate. I'm making a goal this winter to explore popular local spots that I wouldn't even dare to go during peak season. Today, I meet up with some buddies to do just that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another weekend adventure. Um, obviously behind me we got Kevin and his foreigner, but we also have Edward with us, but we don't see his Jeep anywhere. That's because he's my co-pilot today, which is the first. And he's asleep. It means I'm a good driver. But uh, today we're gonna head up to uh, a spot that I know of, and it's pretty popular in the summer. But since it's December, uh, or hopefully it, it'll be pretty quiet. Um, maybe some snow, we'll see, we hope. Um, and then head down a, a little track that's also really popular that I've never been down to. Uh, so we'll see you on the trail. It's not that I don't like people, I do. I love it when people come and say hi and discuss each other's builds and its future plans. But sometimes I hope that there's no one out at camp. Am I the only one that feels that way? So I've got up to uh, the track here. Maybe we should take the hard way down. What do you guys think? Yeah man, let's go! This track is maintained by the Four Wheel Drive Association of BC. They do monthly newbie and intermediate runs for those to gain knowledge and experience in the 4x4 scene. It's about three years of off-roading and this is my first time down this track. Passenger, go passenger a little bit. Yep. And drive it forward. You gotta level out. Nice. Good drive, good drive. You're freewheeling. Annual paint job from Overland Garage. BC Pin Stripes. <laughs> hey, you have to use it, right? You gotta <laughs> use it. <laughs>
stuck on the rock? Yeah. And you can't drive? Yeah, I can't go forward. So, uh, try to go forward a little bit? Yeah? Oh, yeah, you're yeah, just, just, just go, You have to go over it. Wait, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, back up a little bit. The bump it, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you gotta go backwards and then immediately forwards. You will, you might have a, your mud flap may come off. That's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, there you go. There you go. Roll it forward, straight out. Yeah, excellent, easy. Yo, you're good, you're excellent. After Kevin finished shedding a tear over his newly painted bumper, he decided to make camp at Hale Creek Rec Site. On September 10th, 2011, the Hell Creek Shelter Project began its construction. Led by the Four Wheel Drive Association of BC, alongside with them were 60 volunteers that dedicated their time over two days to complete the shelter. The shelter is a tribute to its original form from 1978, built by a small group of people with the dream of creating a place for everyone to enjoy and share. of overlanding is you drive a couple hours you get to the camp spot and you wait a few hours for this to level out How big is this wow. pretty big also um sesame sauce hot pot flavor oh. pretty good You should put a rock on top of your max size. Yeah, you're probably gonna it's probably gonna just take out the spike. So the the reason why we're spending all this time is because <laughs> we we have all this space. But we have a third gen neighbor that has a, a dog that doesn't like other people. So we don't want to give him a little bit more so much trouble. That's why we're going through all this trouble. Uh... Not good dude. <laughs> so, um, I'm done tilted. I gotta take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as Kevin took his break, we chatted up a group of third gen folks who were curious of what we are up to. From there, we talked for a few hours that felt like minutes. And I guess I'll have to retract what I said earlier in the beginning of the video. It's what this is really all about. Being out, exploring, and meeting like-minded folks who share the same excitement over a 24-year-old piece of metal. So before you know it, it was dark and the group of wildland foreigners were on their way back home. And we haven't even set camp yet. So we decided to uh, make camp here at Hale Creek um, just because we met some fellow third gen foreigners and we talked quite a bit. Um, so they, they're just here for the day. So they offered us their spot, gave us some firewood. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make camp. We haven't had lunch, so we're gonna do that, right, Kevin? Yes, sir. Quickly set up um, and then maybe get cooking. Just finished setting up. Diesel, diesel heater is out. Got it running a little bit. <laughs> Awning. And we got uh, somebody new here today. Want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Andrew. Andrew's like prepping up. What are we making here, Andrew? Uh, it's going to be a seafood rice bowl. Seafood rice bowl. And then, and we, what, what do we got going on here, Edward? <laughs> well, looks like we're cooking some we have stumps. Seafood boil, dude. Is that your lid? Absolutely. Got to use what you got. In a uh, Peruvian seafood rice bowl. Peruvian seafood rice bowl. But there's a
Dinner is just about ready. Seafood boil. Can we thicken the stuffing? Lobster, crawfish, no clams, potatoes. We had no corn because it's not in season. We couldn't find any corn. Um, yeah, we're gonna get digging in here. Maybe we're a little over the top here with camp meals, but boy, was that good. Before we fell into a food coma, we picked up our axes and chainsaw to top up the fire. When you're around the campfire late at night, you already know the conversations are going to be juicy. That, I probably won't put in the video. I'm surprised your first time was that. Good morning, guys. Got the water starting to boil for coffee. The guy's already been up for a little bit, so we got the fire up and going. I got woken up by Kevin on the chainsaw. Nothing like a great alarm out of camp. But Kevin seems to have the worst of luck this uh, trip. What's going on, Kev? Hot water has died. Joko's died. Joko, if you're watching this, touch the pump, please. Yeah, the Joko pump stopped uh, working. Apparently, it's a, a very notorious piece that fails, and it has today. So, Kevin's not in a really good mood, but I think a good cup of Costa Rica coffee um, that means we just gotta boil would help water. him out. Yeah, with the boil water. And then we have Andrew working on the land here. What are you doing here? Making a target. What are we shooting? A crossbow. Shoot a crossbow? What? I've never seen a crossbow before. That's pretty cool. Obviously, Edward is still asleep. As, as per usual, he doesn't really wake up until late in the noon. Edward, are you awake? Yeah, he's in there. We're gonna get coffee going and then... Well, we broke enough of Andrew's arrows, so he called us in for breakfast, and that was our cue. What a blast this weekend was. Fun little track down Hill Creek, shot a crossbow for the first time, great company, and of course, bomb food. The weather really held up for us being in the winter season, but I'm itching for that snow. Hopefully, we'll catch some on the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, Kevin? Hey, you got also walk over here. Let's look at it. No. We got a movie set. This is the fog machine. Did you get a diesel heater or did you get a fog machine? A fog machine. <laughs> what is going on, Kevin? Yo! Kevin, bro! <laughs> <laughs>